What's going on guys? King Strats here back with a video on the channel and today as you can clearly see by the Sonic labels all over my stuff We went to Sonic. Sonic has a new steak butter bacon cheeseburger and I just left the movies I watched the movie called Violent Night. I'll talk about it for a minute before we actually get into the video But um, I wanted to try this Sonic Sonic steak. I'm, I'm not editing that because it's gonna sound horrible There's too much words Sonic. We gotta slow this down Sonic steak bacon butter cheeseburger. There we go. I talk too fast for your menu. We also, Sonic has a Philly cheesesteak I didn't know existed, so I had to get that, as well as these broccoli cheddar tots, right? Um, I didn't know these existed, and there's some cookie dough bites, which are $2.99 for some cookie dough bites, and they literally give you three, but look at this. Look, there's a dollar a bite. <laughs> <laughs> but we gonna do it anyway, but that's the video for today quick little review a couple of conversations a little bit of food sampling You're digging the content. Oh, I got a Reese's I got the shake I had to get that but of course you're digging the content drop a thumbs up, man. I, um, I'm getting nervous now the 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 pickle video is is coming. It's coming sooner than I thought um, at 100k <laughs> I think it's like last I checked was like 99 and change so um, I'm scared I was just having a conversation with my friend at the movies and I was like yo I'm getting nervous because I don't want to do it, but I'm going to keep my word, man. We're going to do it. We're going to eat the pickle on camera. I'm going to figure out how to do this, but anyway, drop a thumbs up, you know, to like, subscribe, you know, the cringy YouTube stuff we talk about. You guys have been so awesome. Um, I'm getting too sentimental, and I want to do that. We just started the video. Route 44, Cherry Limey, the diet joint. What are we saying? Also, shout out to Sonic. You didn't mess my order up at all. Like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm jinxing myself, so knock on wood, as us old people do. Uh, I, my orders have all been correct recently, which is crazy, super crazy, but let's try this Sonic steak bacon butter cheeseburger way too many words way too many words uh, apparently it has like a butter sauce uh, there's there's like grilled or sauteed onions on here and um, some bacon and some steak or I don't know I don't know we're gonna find out though who they ain't kidding about the butter bro look at this that's that's buttery because they got that sheen like a jerry curl did I just say jerry curl let's see what's on the inside let's open this up real quick uh, yeah, there's definitely a butter sauce in here. You can see it. There's a ton of bacon. This thing is an artery clogging machine, but we don't worry about that. Tons of cheese on here um, on a regular bun. Let's just do it, man. Let's just let's let's not stall. Oh my fuck! That is salty. Uh, that's really rich. Really salty. Wow. That's so salty that it almost tastes like like breakfast sausage, not beef. Like there's burger grease on my mouth. Um, the, the, the butter is, it just, there's nothing to make this not rich. I feel like there needs to be something to cut through that richness to even make it palatable. So I'm gonna try to put it in like, I guess the ranch might help. I don't think nothing's gonna help this. This might be a, Biggest waste of money I've had in a long time. This might be a two biter, but we're gonna try two bites because you know you don't want to, you don't want to get overzealous. But look, like that is that's not bringing in the points. All right, let's try bite two. Let's try bite two. You get the salt right away, bro. Is this a burger for real? It's like it tastes like like breakfast sausage. You can see me looking around because I'm not joking. I want to spit this out. Listen. Sonic's one of those places that, like, it's either like a W or an L for me. This is a massive L. Like, that's like a 1 out of 10, bro. That's really not. That's not it. Wow. <sighs> I actually just went and looked at the my Sonic app, bro. You think I'm joking? Like, I, I went and looked at my Sonic app because I, I needed to see... This thing is, is ridiculously salty. It tastes like breakfast sausage, how salty the, the beef comes off. With that savory sauce, the savory seasoning, the butter, it's just a richness overload, and it's not enjoyable at all. I, I don't like being harsh, but this is honestly one of the worst fast food burgers I've tasted this year, and it's December. So <laughs> we've had a lot of burgers, man. Um, yeah, th definitively. Like, I can't even give this as one. I'd give this a zero. I, I don't like this at all. Wow. I'm getting this shit out of here. I just moved that off to the side. I don't even want to look at it. I'm gonna be honest with you. That that was really really bad. Um, Sonic also has a Philly cheesesteak, and 
Yeah, it come. They put it in the Coney Island Glizzy thing. Uh, this costs seven dollars and twenty nine cents. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just gonna bite it. Bro, there's no way. This might be the quickest video we have in a while. This is like... I'm gonna do one more. I'm, I gotta be fair. The y'all can... This for the people who think I like everything. Um, it has cheese on it. That's good. The bread is almost chewy. The meat isn't seasoned at all. The only thing making this somewhat palatable is that there's like sauteed onions on here or something that aren't like, at least give it like an onion powder kind of flavor. <laughs> but yeah, that's really awful. It's been a while since I've taken an L like this where I don't like anything. Um, but. I'm just trying to, I'm going to try to meet myself. The bread is really chewy and not good. Oh my God, that's flavorless. That's just like you do some meat on there. Steak them tastes better than that. I grew up eating a lot of steak them. I guess they seasoned the steak them as a kid too. Yeah, this is also pretty, pretty bad. Pretty flavorless. Um, I'll give it a two because I like cheese. But I would, $7 for this is an absolute ripoff. <laughs> 0 for 2, man. Uh, broccoli cheddar tots. These are also new. They have a green little tint to them. Um, I think, what do they cost? Let's look. I got my receipt right here. Uh, $4.89 for a medium. So that's what it looks like. Bro, is there cheese in here? Let's go in the ranch. Let's go in the ranch. I'm trying here, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm usually a very positive person, but. This is, I'm, I'm, I, I feel so bad, bro. You know I'm not like this. I don't know how you managed to make a broccoli cheddar tot that had no flavor in the cheese. Like, the cheese doesn't taste like anything. I definitely get broccoli. The texture is okay. But that's pretty much all good I can say about it. If you don't know, I eat a lot of broccoli tots, cauliflower tots, broccoli cheddar tots that come from Green Giant, a frozen bag that the whole bag of frozen ba <laughs> frozen broccoli tots costs under $4. These cost $4.89, and they don't taste anywhere near as good. So I just have to be, like, honest about that. Th this, these also suck. Like, I should have got regular tater tots or something like that. Usually I can find something good in Sonic. I'm glad I got this pretzel because I know those hit Diffy, but yeah, those are kind of like not good. What the hell? Um, yeah, I'm sorry. That also gets a one. Like texture and, 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 and that's pretty much like it's a good texture, but there's no flavor to it. If you dunk them in ranch, like you can get by with them, right? Like if I just dunk them in his ranch, I can live with that, but like flavorless cheese, four eighty nine for those. Like that's not, it's not, it's not it. Um, we also have one more new menu item. These are the cookie dough bites. These cost two ninety nine, and as I said before, you get three of them. So it's about a dollar a bite. Um, the only thing similar I can think of is Taco Bell has the Cinnabon delights, which are like ninety nine cents for two of them. So I'll tell you what, I can smell the cookie dough in here though. They seem fried pretty well. I hope these are good. Did they come with any? I think, are you supposed to dip it in that? This is the a la mode that it comes with. I didn't realize that, that's pretty cool. Um, I just looked on my phone app, so. You're supposed to, I guess, like, what does it say? A side of real ice cream for dipping. Yes, yeah, so you're supposed to dip these in the ice cream. I can get down with that, let's see. Let's see. Oh, hell yeah. 
I was almost mad. <laughs> I was almost mad. A little bit on the expensive side, but like when I think about it, with the ice cream, you get a nice little serving of ice cream. I'm gonna open up the next one for y'all, cause that. All right, let me show y'all real quick. The inside is super like fudgy, like a fudge ice cream. The outside is crispy. Um, the dough is a little bit on the undercooked side. I'm not gonna lie, but preferentially for me, I, I eat raw cookie dough all the time. I know it's not supposed to be good for you, but I don't care. I don't care, I'm gonna eat it. So I think these are very enjoyable. You can tell, just look at the, the cookie dough. It's, it's kind of undercooked, but that's like a W for me. I, I, you, know time, you know you get those toll houses in your square pack and you're supposed to like take the 12 and I'd be just eating them, bro. I don't care, I'm still alive, I'm good, don't worry about it. And then you dunk it in this ice cream. Sonic has certain size, they don't miss on. This one, a little kind of pricey, like two and a half for three little balls, but it made up for it with the ice cream when I realized it. So, I find these enjoyable. I would definitely get these again. I feel like a dollar ninety nine would have been like, like even more of a dub. But even with that, it's hard to find like actual cookie dough at a, at a fast food joint. So, for that, give it a pretty decent score. I'd still probably give it about a six and a half out of ten. Like, not quite a seven where you're like, oh, you can't miss, but still pretty good. I find these enjoyable. All I have left is my uh, my Reese's Blast. It had half off blast, which was dope, and my cookie dough bite here. Oh, you still put in the Reese's? We're good. We're good. And my pretzel, which I know I like. But everything else was an absolute L. Also, the Route 44 Diet Sherry Alignment is a must for me. I have to eat every time. So, if you don't know about this pretzel, this is one of my favorite things at Sonic. I still don't really know why. But it just, it hits every time. It hits every time. So, uh, last time I did this, people kept saying that I'm using the wrong... The sauce is for the pretzel, the cheese sauce, so I didn't really know that, so I'd just be eating it. Um, but apparently if you dip it in this, don't do that. It's supposed to make it even better, so we're going to go in and cheese this time with the Dunk Dunk. I love these. Even this sucks this time. you got to be kidding me. What happened? No way, bro. No way. No way. I went to the same Sonic I went to last time too. I'm gonna try one bite, hold on. Okay, calm down. It don't hit the same. It's okay, it's, it's still okay. It's still okay. But it still doesn't hit the same. But, still the best thing I had so far. You know what's crazy? I don't think I like it in the cheese sauce is what the problem was. I'm going to try one more time in the cheese sauce. Do I don't like that cheese sauce? I don't really like the cheese sauce. That's really weird. I like it by itself. Like the by itself is still like a solid seven, seven and a half. Like I still like it. Let me see something. Hold on, I got my, my Dorito shovel. Nah, I don't ruin the shovel with this cheese. Alright. Oh, that cheese sauce sucks. That's what it is. Bro, that y'all I'm not even funny. For people who go to Sonic, y'all like that cheese sauce? Like, I don't like it at all. It's like I would rather have Tostitos the the, the cheese, the dip, the, you know the jar, the queso? That tastes like pure salt, bro. I thought it was the pretzel. Like, I was like, it's so salty this time. It's this. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. I'm so sorry, bro. Like, I'm not going to edit that because I need, I need to see the reaction, but that was real. Nah. W. It was the cheese. I'll take that. Anyway, I'm trying to resplash real quick. I'm sorry for smacking. I need to get that cheese taste out of my mouth. I got the Reese's Blast. It cost two fifty because it was like half off. And of course, my Dorito Shovel, which will be a mainstay for as long as we are here. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh. I love Reese's. That saved it. This is a saver right here. Mm. 
I watched Silent Night Holy, no, Violent Night. I got the title wrong. People are like, what are you going to watch? I was like, Violent, Silent, I don't know. It's called Violent Night. Um, it's a movie about Santa. But he's like an action Santa. But he's actually Santa. If you didn't see the preview, that's what's basically in a preview. Um, I think if you're in the mood for like a Christmas movie and you're an adult, it's a fun watch. Just don't expect, like, I go into movies with expectations. I was expecting to watch a kind of funny, kind of corny Christmas action movie. And that's exactly what I got. Like, is it going to be up for any awards this year? Hell no. Is it a movie that you're like, oh, you got to see this? No. It's just a decent time. You want something to be in a Christmas spirit, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like it delivered on what it was supposed to be. Like, an average movie that was kind of fun. One of the things they said in the tagline, you know, when they have the movie, like the tagline, that they say about the movie all the time, they said it's like Home Alone meets Die Hard. Two of my favorite Christmas movies. Yes, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. We argue about this. It's fine. They made a lot of thinly veiled references to both movies throughout the entire movie. If you're a fan of the Die Hard, especially like the original trilogy, I know they made like four other ones, but I don't really like those. But like the original, the airport one, and okay. When it was all on Christmas. Y'all get it. Anywho. Ooh, so good. There's a lot of references to that movie. There's a lot of thin veil references to Home Alone as well. So I think a lot of people, if you watch those movies from that era, you will like be like, oh, like you know, like the Leo and DiCaprio meme when you point at the screen with the candy and got. It's like one of them. Overall, I don't think there's anything you have to go to the movies to see now. But I do think when it comes out on streaming services, if you don't have the AMC pass like I do, it's a fun watch. It's it's kind of corny. But I expected that, because Christmas movies are kind of corny. So they put in a lot of Christmas cliche corny stuff. You know, when you watch Christmas movies, you expect that. Like the, the music and the fa-la-la-las and the ho-hos and the, you know. Um, and they're in there. But there's, it's also got like some action sequences. Nothing too crazy. At all. Like it's not going to be Bruce Willis level. But stuff blows up. There's blood. There's gore. Not a crazy amount of gore. I wouldn't take children to see it, but young adults could probably watch it. Teenagers, you know, like uh, I would, I definitely watch stuff like that as a teenager. It's nothing horror movie esque. You know what I'm saying? More action movie type of stuff. But all in all, I'm glad I watched it. It was fun. I just feel like people need to have expectations when they go to movies and stuff. Just like for me, when it comes to food, with fast food, I don't have high expectations. I usually expect it to be great. I expected to be decent. The stuff I ate today wasn't decent. It wasn't edible. So I know some people think, and I always say this, and I always try to explain like the ratings and stuff. I'm not being negative. I look at it as you guys trust me to give you an honest review. So if I told you to go get that salty ass burger, I'll be mad. I'll put it this way. I look at it like this. Would I listen to my own reviews? If somebody would have told me, yo, you gotta get the Sonic Steak Butter Bacon but Booby Burger, whatever it was, and you went and bit into that burger, you would have been like, yo, this guy's ridiculous. <laughs> like, we're, not, we're always not gonna align, but that, I think it's, it's trash, bro. Like, I had to be honest about that. That one's super trash. So, I don't consider myself a food snob. I don't like giving high ratings. But when I can't say anything good about that burger, it's gotta be a zero. And that's why I gave it a zero, you know? I was trying to find something good to say. I couldn't. It's over here still. I don't want to see it. <laughs> like it's, it's like hiding behind the Route 44. Um, but yeah, I've always been one of those people that think Sonic is a mid-tier fast food chain. Today was the worst experience I had at Sonic so like in a long, long, actually ever. Um, the tots, you can see. Like You know my thing. When someone asks what's wrong with my food, and I say it's still there, when you see me still, and you see, I don't even want to touch this thing. When you see all this food here, I spent 30 bucks and I'm not touching it, bro. I can't do it. Like, that's really bad. <laughs> I have no nothing to say. Well, 
I'm always going to be honest. I know a lot of these food companies watch my videos. Some of them have reached out to me when I've given bad reviews. Um, some of them haven't. But my first duty is to you guys, to the people watching. I'm always going to be honest for that. And I know I'm considered the guy who likes everything. So if I say it's bad, it's bad. This is bad. $7 for this is, is a travesty. Like, should never happen. Should never, just shouldn't exist. This shouldn't exist. And $5 for that, you can get a bag of Green Giant Tots, bro. And I'm not saying, I understand there's food cost and cooking and labor, but if you want broccoli cheddar tots, just go to the store, go to the frozen food section, go to the vegetable section, and go to Green Giant. They got broccoli cheddar tots, because that right there is like, those broccoli cheddar tots are probably like a 7 or an 8 out of 10, and those are like like a 2. Like, whew, absolute bag of cheeks. So, we struck out today. Struck out Mr. Beast Burger, too. So, that's two. We had two L's this week. That's, that's a big week for me. But, either way, I'm like trying to get the taste out of my mouth with these two. I'm always going to be honest with y'all. I'm always going to keep it a buck. I hope you guys respect that. You know, and I've always said that if I don't like something, or I do like something, if I review something, I will always articulate. Meaning, I will say out loud a tangible reason why I enjoyed it, or why I didn't. So I try to give good points and bad points about everything. If I have nothing bad to say about something, it's a 10. If I have nothing good to say about something, it's a 0. If it's 50-50, it's a 5. You get what I'm saying? So that's where my system comes from. I can't just sit here and say it's good, it's mid, it's trash. Like, I, I feel like I owe more than that for you guys. So that's where I'm coming from. I know most of y'all have been here for a while, so you understand that. But there's always new people checking out the channel and stuff. And if you're watching at this point, that means you're a real one. Because nobody watches videos this far these days. But anyway, how can we end this video? I got to find something to eat. <laughs> because I'm not eating this. But we'll be back tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.